your proud home of the 2012 Summer Games. Featuring 11 minutes of non-stop news, your weather authority forecast, and SWX sports headlines. This is KHQ Local News 11 and 11. With the unofficial start to summer behind us, the next sure sign that summer is on its way will be the end of school. And that means there will be thousands of kids and teens walking and biking along area streets. Thank you for watching KHQ Local News 11 at 11. I'm Stephanie Vigil. In an effort to keep the number of pedestrian and bicycle collisions down, the Spokane Regional Health District is in partnership with the City of Spokane Valley and Spokane Valley Police is sponsoring an emphasis patrol. It all takes place tomorrow. Patrick Erickson spent some time today say, surveying the area where the patrol will take place. He joins us live now with more. Patrick? Well, good evening, Stephanie. Believe it or not, every month in Spokane County, there are 20 collisions involving a pedestrian and a vehicle. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office wants to remind everybody with school getting out very, very soon to be careful on area roadways. With the help from the Spokane Regional Health District, deputies will be out in force tomorrow as part of a pedestrian emphasis patrol in Spokane Valley. It'll focus on 13 area schools and is part of a pedestrian and motorist safety campaign called Stickman Knows. The vehicles failing to yield to pedestrians will be facing a $124 fine and pedestrians or bicyclists caught crossing streets illegally will be looking at a $56 fine. To stay safe, the Sheriff's Department recommends crossing the street at a marked crosswalk or intersection wearing reflective or brightly colored clothing at night. And if you're behind the wheel, they'll remind you to travel the posted speed limit and always stop for pedestrians. A proven way to reduce collisions, the emphasis patrol lasts all day tomorrow. And if you'd like more information, we have put a link to stickmannose.org on our web channel at khq.com. Reporting live tonight, Patrick Erickson, KHQ Local News. All right, Patrick, thank you. And we do have more information. Listen to these numbers from the Stickman Nose campaign research. Last year alone, there were 90 Spokane Valley pedestrian and bicyclist collisions in the target area. Also, when a pedestrian is at fault for a collision, the main reason are failure to use a crosswalk and failure to grant right of way to the vehicle. When a motorist collides with the pedestrian, the main reason is failure to yield to the right of way of the pedestrian. Well, continuing coverage now for